find sine of 2 theta given that the sine of an angle of theta is negative square root of 2 over 5. Remember, you're looking for the sine of double the angle. So therefore, we are going to be using our property or identity or sine of 2 theta. We only have one to use, so let me go ahead and write it down. Instead of A, I'm going to write down theta. So we have the sine of 2 theta is equal to 2. That's sine of theta, cosine of theta. And now I just need to be able to substitute the sine of theta and the cosine of theta. Now sine of theta is given to me here. So I can go ahead and substitute it right away. It gives me 2. That gives me negative square root of 2 divided by 5. And now the only thing that I need to find is the cosine of theta. So therefore I use my x and y axis and I build a triangle to find my missing link. Sine is negative, so ne sine negative is your y value, so it can be either of those two quadrants. But because cosine is also negative, it has to be on quadrant number three. I'm going to place a generic triangle. And this is opposite over hypotenuse. So it'll be square root of two over five. And the negative belongs to the square root of two because it's going down. And now I'm going to find the missing side. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C is 5 squared is 25. Equal to A is the square root of 2 squared is just 2 plus B squared. Minus 2 on both sides gives me B squared is equal to 23. So therefore B is equal to the square root of 23. But because it's going to the left, that will be negative. So therefore, this will be negative square root of 23 divided by 5. This so cosine will be your adjacent over hypotenuse. I'm going to place this over 1 and I'm going to multiply across. So 2 times the negative times the negative will be positive 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 23 is square root of 46 over. 1 times 5 times 5 is 25. Remember, this is a negative times a negative so will be a positive. So the sine of theta, or 2 theta, is 2 square 46 divided by 25.